Towering above the bushy landscape, this derelict mine shaft is about to get a new lease on life. We're going to see the world's first ever mine site demonstrations of a gravitational energy storage system. The process works by raising and lowering heavy weights up and down the shaft. During daytime hours, excess solar and wind power is used to pull the weights up. Then during peak periods, the weights are dropped down, spinning a turbine that creates electricity. The trials we've run in Port Kembla at the Gravity Lab have shown the technology works. We now want to scale it up. We want to make sure that it works in the mining environment. Now the owner of the old Russellvale Colliery is giving them that chance. We were not sure whether we'll be able to sell the mine or we're going to close or nothing was decided yet. So when Mark came to me and shared the idea, I was excited. The $10 million operation is being funded by tech company Green Gravity after trialling a 12-metre prototype at Australia's largest steelmaker. It will replicate the technology at a depth of 400 metres on a site that's close to a substation. At a commercial level, it could provide enough electricity for 10,000 homes. It's going to make us ready to deploy commercial systems, hopefully as soon as calendar 2027. This deal comes just five months after the state government led an inquiry into the use of post-mining land. It suggested relaxing rules to support initiatives like renewable energy projects. And what makes it a world first is how it repurposes existing infrastructure. They're reusing sunk capital costs in the mine shaft and the electricity grid connection and that's what makes it such an amazing and brilliant piece of technology. A real-world test for a cleaner future. Brooke Chandler, ABC News, Russellvale.